We all start somewhere. The key is to believe in yourself and not give up. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do the long awaited nail studio tour. So I'm going to show you what is in all of my Alex drawers and I'm not going to do the desk or my editing desk. I do have videos up of them. And yeah, so I just want to show you the rest of my nail art collection. So as in front of me here, this is basically what my studio looks like. I do work out of my home. So this is just like right beside my living room. It's actually my dining room that I took over. And yeah, guys. So this is my desk. I'm not going to really show that, but I do love the little art piece on the side. And then I added marble to the back of it. Just something easy peasy. So I do have a little bit of art on this wall here, so I'm just going to show you guys that. Okay guys, so I'm just going to start in front of my desk. This is like very in front of my desk. This is what you would see. This here is where my clients would sit. Is like I'm in between that space. So this little stand, I just have some decals on it. I do end up having all of my Vanilla liners. Just some glitters that I just haven't potted yet. I just kind of left them in there for now. My IBD gel that I use for when I want to mix my custom gels. And then in here I have seashells and pebbles, seashells and pebbles. All my stuff is pretty organized. I do take pride in kind of having my stuff in places. I knew this was going to be hard with one hand. Let's see if I can do it with this hand. I'm gonna set you guys up differently to show you my other stuff, so I'll have two hands then, but this little corner is a little bit tight. And then I have more sea cells in this little thing. Now this little container I just got from Dollarama. It's not gonna work, is it? OMG, there we go. <laughs> and then here I have my little tabs that go on polish bottles, and then I have the little soak off of oils. Here I just have my little pixies and caviar beads. The collection is not complete yet, so there is room for that to grow. Now over here I have this tall stand and I literally just put all these Dollar Tree containers in it. So I'm just gonna start from the bottom. Um, here is literally just photo props and 10 gram pots. So here, exactly what they say, they're all labeled. So snowflakes, leaves, hearts, stars, um, like foils, any little metal pieces. So just small like odds and ends of these little guys. And then these little pots I got from Amazon. And that's really what's all in here, guys. It's just an awkward little corner to try to film at least. So yeah, like pigments pixie crystals and then any like fine glitters I like to leave over here so any sugar like sugaring glitters anything like that they all just live in this little tall thing so yeah that works out well for me okay guys so we're just over on this end now um I'm just gonna show you what is in this big Alex drawer that's my cart I'm not gonna go over what's in my cart I do have a separate video of that it hasn't changed too much if you have something you guys want to see an updated version just let me know so over here this is all of my VDD crystals. Now I have the complete collection, I just have to put them away and then I'm gonna do a separate video on that so I'm not gonna get too into that right now. Okay, now let's see what's in here. So I'll move you guys out of the way a little, sorry for that. So here is just my poly gel. Now I don't have a lot of brands in poly gel, I just have a couple. Tonica, Roslyn, and Gershon, and then this is just like for any mixed brands. That is how I organize that drawer. All of my drawers are labeled. I just have all the labels on top. I'm gonna go one down. 
this drawer is yeah that's just like i have to be put away drawer guys in all honesty i don't know if that's ever going to really stay but i have some stickers that we hold we just got to organize this stuff and i just haven't got to that yet okay so back down here so we have rhinestones this drawer honestly is probably going to change a little bit <laughs> i actually have like a whole plan for these rhinestones i don't use these rhinestones often or really actually at all anymore. I really just like my, my BDD ones. So all of these rhinestones in here are, these are just pre-marked containers. Um, these are all, I wanna say like acrylic. I think there is some glass in here as well. But they're all ones that I've gotten from like Amazon or Sheen. And then there's just like two rows back. Okay, sorry guys, I had to switch you. There's no way I'm going to be able to do that on a standing one. So yeah, so there's two rows back. I just put them in these little acrylic containers. That I actually got these off of Amazon. And those small containers that have my fine glitter are in these. This is what came in these. And then I just used little sponge tape there so they don't move around. And I find it works good for me for these things. And they're easy to pull out well, when I don't have these nails on. So that's all that drawer really gets and what is in that drawer again i have everything labeled so swarovskis i don't have a lot of swarovskis these here are swarovskis and then these here if you want more in depth on that guys there is a video also up of that just gotta go through them okay so next door we have rhinestones so these are all of like my big body rhinestones I can kind of show you a little bit guys let me know if you want a more in-depth video that i can set you guys up on the overhead and just bring them out and show you like that but i'll just try to do like a small little showcase here so these containers here are from sheen um i don't know if they even have any more of them since i've been there like they they're actually sold out for a little bit but i'll have to recheck so and then here Day. again i have all mine labeled pointed back these containers i get from michael's and they actually do come with pots and then i have pointed back another one there and i think that's just literally yeah i think just pointed back something i don't know i don't think there is any okay so those are just i think there's no difference, no gold, silver. There's no real rhyme or reason. They're all just pointed back. There, so just let me know in the comments if you do want to see that a little bit more in depth. It'll be easier if I just take them out and then show you like that. But I'm not going to do that in here. I'm just kind of showing you how my setup is. So here I have charms. So metal pieces, females, pearls anything themed again all of my stuff is pretty organized i do have labels on all of them this one as well and then we just have those little guys and caviar beads and metal pieces that one looks like it needs a new label pearls and then a brand new one okay one more down, what do we have here? So we have designer, shapes, charms. So this is like my fullest drawer of them because it is a taller drawer so I can fit more. So for the most part it does house all of these. Like I said, everyone does have their individual like label so I kind of know. Makes it a little bit easier. Like I said, if there's something you guys want to see all these in depth, Please just let me know if I do it this way in this video. This video will be very long. Okay, so here again we have clusters, designer, flowers, mixed shape, gold. Yeah. And in these drawers you can fit five of these. No, yeah, you can fit five. So you can go five high and then two in total. And then just this little designer guy. I'm just seeing like what that little grossness is. It needs a little dust in there, my bad. Okay, down here we have flowers, puffs, kawaii charms, what is that over there? Chains and spinners. 
So these I just hauled a couple of these and I have one. I have a pretty fun little project. I'm actually going to put all those other little small crystals in these. And do something different with that drawer, but that will come. So this has all designer charms. I got these off of Ali. I'm probably not available anymore, guys. Some of this stuff is going to be harder for me to find. I don't think I'm going to put links. Unfortunately, I just have to go back and find it. It'll be way too much stuff for me to go back and find. If it's something Pacific, shout out. And then I can always try to give it to you. But okay, so we have magnet puffs and hearts. Um, more magnets. I just store them in these little containers. You can get these from the dollar store. I'm pretty sure if you buy them from Sheen, they do come in a container like that. But you can also get them from the dollar store. Okay, so there I have all my dried flowers on that one. Okay, what else do we have here? So we have some flower fabric magnets. Have all of my chains and then here we have the fly charms pretty standard and then I don't know I was on a bear kick so I was able to fill this full of bears and then down there we have some Christmas and then we have some of the metal rings and here that's just some fake money. Nothing too crazy. Okay, and here. We go on the side angle. Sorry to flip you guys, but it'll just be easier for me. Okay, so we have some uh, flowers, which we'll have to get incorporated into that flower one back there. Some other flowers, these are plastic, so they're not real. But, oh, those ones are real. One empty container, which probably because I couldn't find home for it. Um, what do we have? Okay, just all these little silver or gold. I think they're all gold embellishments. Okay, so we have little coffees. We have spinners. We have some Gucci Hawaii charms. We have some feathers. We have some lollies. These are just those big lolly flies. We have some extra large teddies. These containers I get from Sheen, guys. I like it for the bigger stuff, for the stuff I have quite a bit of. Um, just some more teddy bears. Oh, these are like little gold charms. I got these from Allie. They're way too big, like they're huge for a nail. But I just don't even know what to do with them, guys. So they just live there. These are just some silver charms. Again, some of these are way too big for nails, but they just live there for now. But you can dangle like some smaller ones on your nail. What else? Oh, we have some of that like paper and those little, I don't remember what they're called, those little things you can encapsulate in a nail. Angel paper. Let me see. So I'm going to turn you again. Sorry. Um, okay, new products. We can't really go in that drawer. And then this is just my restock drawer, which finally shuts. So that's awesome. Okay, on to the next. So over here, I'm just going to show you. So this is usually what is behind me. So my, just my little board. I don't know. I think it's cute. When I was getting to a thousand subscribers, I was counting and it just was a way to motivate me and just I feel proud. So this is my Brian Brothers hat. I usually switch it out. I love that brand. You guys know I always boast about it. Again, I always wear their wristbands. My favorite hat company of all time. So up here, guys, I'm still stuck with that shelf. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% sold on that little shelf up there yet, but it is what it is. So that's just what lives up there. Those little bears I got from Allie. I thought they were cute. Two little rose bears. So all my Venelisa refill stuff is up there. They're all full, so they just live there for now. 
Here is just my polish rack. Um, these are some that are staying out. But again, guys, that's actually going to change very soon. So my Madam Glams are probably going to live here. The Model 1s will be going in a different location. But for now, they're just there. These are some like old liner brushes. They're just actual regular polish. But I don't know. They still, they're still kind of cool to work with. Again, you just have like all of my swatches for all of my other polishes that live in the little containers. Here, I just have all of my Venalisa poly gel, which in all honesty, guys, I love Venalisa stuff. I'm, I've tried their, I usually use their poly gel on my toes. I'm not overly a huge fan of the consistency. It's quite soft, so I don't know. Okay, but that is my truth. Here is literally just swatches really don't know okay so we have Venalisa I think these are all Venalisa honestly besides these are my custom gels oh sorry guys these are my custom gels uh, I'm not going to really show you what's all on here but I do have swatches that live all back there too for now so this is like literally my editing desk like I said I can just give like a quick little show so that is like how that looks Okay, so in this kind of a dupe of a drawer, it's not an Alex drawer, but it looks identical. I just got it from Amazon. It was my first drawer, actually. Okay, so in here, again, guys, I label stuff. So we have a flowers, metal, um, carving, and the spider. So that is really it of all the brands that I have so far. And we said we have Meet Across, Spider. Um, we have some Born Pretty, uh, Francesca, yeah, so all my carving gels, and then here we have like metal gels, and then here is all the flower gels that I currently have. Okay. Alrighty. So a second drawer down, we have gel paints, um, polish, and then glitter, it says. So these are all top coats. Actually, they're really, really good. To, actually, I love them. Like they're really nice to use. They are a no wipe, and they just have like glitter in them. They're so, so nice. I got them off of Ally. And then we have some Roslyn glitters, glitter gels. These are all actual like polishes, just just in a pot. And then these are all the gel paints that I have. That is it. Next drawer. So we have custom gels. So here are just the brands of custom gels that I have. If they're in these little pink pots, then that means I have made them. So this is a Savvy Land. I've actually never tried them yet. Just so sad. I haven't even tried these ones. Too much stuff and haven't tried it all. So here is a little tray, I guess. Um, I did cut, get it cut down to fit in this drawer perfectly. It was just like a serving tray. I used to have metal ones, which I'll still use for these ones up here when I grow. But it's a good way to get more room out of your drawer. So underneath that drawer, this here is all of my custom gels that I've made. And I think I have 78 back there. And then a couple in up top that I haven't really numbered. If they don't have a number on it, that means I've just kind of played with them. These are all made from Mika powder and um, the IBD gel. So they're all hard gels. And that's all the colors of them so beautiful okay and then this little tray literally fits right on top and then i can get double the amount of stuff in there so i love them like i said i do have metal trays that go in these two it's just i don't need them at the second so i don't even put them in yet but they're just like you know the trays you can put paper in for your office that's all they are you get it from the dollar store any type of tray you can use just to get more room that's what will happen up there once i grow a little bit more so mixed gel brands. So these are just all the brands that I have. Savvy Land. I like Savvy Land. It's not ba bad. Um, they just don't have like a, to me a lot of like I don't know crazy variety. And their color gels are up here. So they're just small. So Gelin. I'm not a huge fan of like this one I got. It was at a really, really um, high heat spike. 
but who knows it could have been my lamp at the time and then these are just the young nail ones that i have so some other brands so these drawers i love because you can actually pull these drawers out yeah these are just the other brands that i have tried i've gotten pretty much all of this is from amazon and then down here is just my Venalisa's for now. I do have more of these, but we haven't hauled them yet, so that will come. And then these are also Venalisa. They were just the bigger pots, so I just potted them in smaller ones to make it a little bit easier. Alright, so let's move down to this drawers. Underneath here, this is like a table from just Ikea. And then I did it, and that's how I turned my editing desk over here. I just needed more space. That is a little mini cart. I'm not going to go through that. If it's something you guys want to see in detail, just let me know. But it's perfect because it fits under the table, so it's awesome for that. So underneath here, on top of this little Alex drawer system I have, I just have all my back, well, most of my backgrounds, and then my laptop lives there. Because I have my laptop hooked up to that monitor, and then that thing that you see glowing, that's just a cooling, like, pad, because my laptop actually turns into a tablet so it has to stay open like that so yeah otherwise like it'll I don't know burn the screen out or something because just the way that where the vent is so I just got a cooling pad for it so I know that I don't know she's safe I don't want to invest in anyone okay so this top drawer literally is just has like custom gels that I'm working on right now so I'm not really going to open up that one but it actually is dedicated for another glitter drawer when I overtake these two but i still have a little room first glitter drawer okay so how i do my glitters is i have this little foam tape that i put down i could not find the spice racks from ikea they just were all sold out so i found this foam tape on amazon and it works perfect nothing moves and it was pretty reasonable so i just lined it up and you can move it out move it in like it's it's pretty um like flexible so this is it guys, um, I used to have all my glitter like color coded as best I could but because there's just so many glitter mixes it's, it's, I find it's just getting harder and then depending on where I buy I'm kind of keeping my collections together like all of these ones, these are all Glitter Mix Canada otherwise I've, got, otherwise, I've gotten them from Sheen, um, Amazon, Ali, so yeah. So these drawers as you guys know do not come out which is a pain. So instead of running my tape all the way back, I had a couple extra of these little things that I showed you guys that I had my rhinestones in. This is a lot easier when I use my right hand, but I'm going to left hand it. So yeah, they just live like that. And it does make it easier to go in and out and grab them. But again, I'm kind of using my other hand. So realistically, what I would do is not that. Yeah, so it'd leave enough room to be able to grab it up, but like I said, I'm not I'm ambidextrous, but I'm not that ambidextrous. So yeah, that's how they all live back there. And then that will, oh, so sorry. That fits exactly three, and then you have a little bit of room. I don't know, I think it works for me for now. I don't, will it always stay? I don't know. Will I probably run more tape in the future back there? I'll see. But I know I won't be able to see the glitter, and I don't like that. So at least this way I can pull out each tray, and I can see what is going on there. Next one we have again another glitter drawer. This one is more full I would say. Again it has a mixture because I started doing it I tried again to keep it as much color as I could coated but then there's glitters like chameleons and all these different mixes and then more dot glitters that all that I wanted to keep together. So it's starting to be like just it's organized in my brain but I guess it might not look organized, so these are all colored letters. Well, those are some Louis, but they're colored letters, and yeah, just like different, more fluorescents and different dot glitters. Like if they're like matte dot glitters, they stay with matte dot glitters. And that's how I do that drawer. These drawers are so fun just to open and be like, ah. And again, I do the same system in the back. So, okay, 
that is that drawer. Okay, the next drawer is Benelisa. So this literally is just like all my Benelisa for right now that I have. So here is the shiny Platinums. I just use these wheels. I'm pretty sure I do have them on swatches as well. But I really like these wheels when I'm just, I don't know, creating is good for a little comparisons. So I do like having them. And you kind of just know what you want to grab when you're in the drawer. This collection, unfortunately, is not complete. I cannot find them all to complete them, which makes me sad. Here is all the Venelisa Mud Gels. So they just run back. Here, I kind of have the system I put these little containers in so I can reach them. So, like I said, everything in the back won't get lost. I don't know if that's something that's going to last, but for now it seems to work. These are the GD Coco Gels that I have. So far, again, going back there, I do have what they are on the sides. It works for right now. I don't know if that will forever work for me, but I will. I do, I do want to finish this whole collection in time. So yeah, guys, that's that one. And room to grow in the back. What is next? Okay. So we have stamping and watercolors. So that's all that's in this drawer. Here is literally all the stamping polishes that I have. I just have CADs. I just got this one in today actually from Ali, this pin pay. But it actually was leaking, so I just cleaned it and then put it away. So I will have to message them and be like, what's up? But for now, I just set it up there because I don't want it to leak. And I have some gels. Painting um, or snapping gels. And that's it. These are all my watercolors or water inks. And that's all that I have there. And then just the brushes I use for stamping, extra little plates for scrapers, yeah, etc. Again, all these containers are all from Dollarama, and then these ones are from Dollar Tree. Okay, so this drawer. Okay, here I have all of my chromes and acrylic paints. So here is just how I do my chromes. I just leave them in these little containers that they come with, like these for instance came from Amazon, I got them quite a while ago. I just number them, put a, a basic swatch of how they look over a clear nail, and that's literally how they go. I can pull them all out, and then any new ones I've gotten, depending on where and how it comes, I'll either pop them, keep them in what they are, they get a new number, and then everyone that has a number will have their own stick. And that's numbered to the bag. And then that's how I do it. I have these that I also got. I'm honestly like so fearful even to open that. That looks like it's going to spill everywhere. I'm not a fan of that container like from Jump. So I don't even know. But that's how it came. Um, Those are for acrylic for the most part. For etching out your nail if you want a smile line. I don't overly use them. As you guys know I'm more of a gel person. Okay all these are acrylic paints. These are just some like acrylic paints that I got from like the dollar store. These are actually like really good ones. Um, I got them from Amazon. They're a little pricey though, or they can be. And then here is just cat eye. There's a few of the cat eyes that I have. I don't have a lot of cat eye actually. Little cat eye magnets. These are just mixed different things. So here we have glass gels, which are more back here. I just actually have like the swatches to them. I did do a swatch video on this set, so if that's something you're interested to see, then you can always like check that out. Like I said, I kind of have my YouTube channel pretty organized, so most things are in categories to what you guys want to see. It's swatching, hauls, all that good stuff. Um. So we have glow in the dark, which are just some of these guys. Yeah, I can't do anything with these nails. Like they don't want me to. So yeah, these are just some like glow in the dark ones. Nail vision. And then Okay, so these are like the lily cute glitter liners. Super cute. Oh yeah guys. Just mixed and this is just some mixed stuff. So, 
for NYX brands of just little stuff that they do, either polishes. If I only have a couple, then they'll stay down here until they kind of grow big enough to get their own own designated area. So yeah, that's it for that. So the last little bit of this tour I just want to show you is, like I said, so this is my work desk. This is where I would like to see all the magic happens. That sounds so creepy. <laughs> So these are the lamps that I'm using. I have two of them. They are rechargeable, so they're wireless. They just come on. They do have the metal bottoms. She needs a little bit of a wipe. And they magnet back on. I just like to leave them on these little stick things so they don't fall. And there's a little bit of lip because of my glass. I got this piece of glass from Ikea. I couldn't find a piece of glass that fits my table. I could probably get custom, but... I really feel like this gives me like all the splash zones of where it could mess anything up. So yeah, I have two of my lamps and then I'm not going to show you what's in the desk guys. Like I said, I do have a video up of that. Nothing has overly changed, but if you want an updated version, just let me know in the comments below. This little guy, nothing has really changed on that. I do love it though. It's so convenient. I just have all my hands and my fingers. That's where they all live until I need them. Yeah, and then this is just mainly my tips for like my little hands and stuff that I use more often that I quickly grab. So I like just to have them there. The rest of my tips and swatches are in that little cart thing over there. Yes, so my drill, the Melody Susie drill is, this is the one that I use. I love her, I don't have any issues with her. I come to realize actually all the drills that I've ever used are Melody Susie, even the first one, it was just more of a reasonably priced one. It was like 20, 30 bucks from Amazon. So yeah. Okay, over here quickly before I let you guys go, I just want to show you what lights I use. So this is my overhead light. Uh, it works fine. I don't think, it's oddly enough, I don't overly use it that that crazy. But it does work really good, especially even if like I want to focus in on some fine art or anything. It's just from Amazon. I actually like it because for me, my overhead camera mount, I just use my phone for now. But when I do use my camera, this piece comes off and my camera can connect to this. And this is meant for a camera, so it has the weight using my phone, which for the right now I actually use my phone all the time. I don't really use my camera, especially now having my second phone. I just don't have, I don't need to like bother. But um, yeah, so I like the fact that it has the same matching bars. Oops. And then I'm going to put you in some weird things. So it does like have, there's like three different. I wonder if I can, that's weird. Yeah, there's three different things. And then like the warm, cool. So I just usually leave it on the cool when I have it on right so that is that I use for filming now if I am editing on my laptop I use for my voiceover I just use this little snowball mic if I can push it over and then that's it again it just stays there and then you have that little like covery thing this gets dusty though guys like you already know how a nail room is and then like that literally is just nylon but it does help with like breathing and I feel like, I don't know, I breathe like heavy when I'm like talking. I feel like I'm doing it right now. I don't know, it's weird. But again, I like that it all has the same. So at least all three of them have the same matching thing and it works for me. And I think why like I don't use this overly that that crazy even when I'm filming. And that is because guys, I have a softbox. I know I don't want to blind you. Um, As you guys know, this is in my um, my house so my kitchen is like right there so so yeah i do have a soft box and i got that from amazon as well so that is like majority of my light and then i do have the chandelier and then i just put white bulbs in her so it's bright like i really don't need any more light and then when i am actually filming in my studio this light is not there it actually sits right here and then I have all the light that I need over my desk, right? I just put it there because I knew I'd be walking and filming. And it can get tight, I'm not going to lie. I don't have a very big home. My home is quite small. 
but it works perfect for me and I love my studio. I wouldn't change it. I know I've taken over a lot of my space, but I, don't know, I make it work. So yeah, guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. I hope it won't be too, too long, but um, yeah, I know it's been a while. I've had my channel for about six months now, so I thought it was about time that I try to figure it out and get something out for you guys. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I appreciate you guys so, so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. All right, guys. Bye.